What's up Heroes Avenue? In just a few short days we're going to be treated to our first big screen adaptation of the Justice League. The iconic DC characters we all know and love growing up are going to be brought together and share the screen for what we anticipate to be one epic movie going experience for comic book sweaties and all general movie fans alike. Today on Heroes Avenue we give you the road to the Justice League. It started with Man of Steel in June of 2013, coming off both successes in the Incredible Dark Knight trilogy and failure in 2011's Green Lantern. Visionary director Zack Snyder introduced us to the new face of Superman in Henry Cavill. Divisive as it was, there's no denying that this version of Superman was a bold new interpretation of the Man of Steel, one that clearly distinguishes itself from previous incarnations and is, in at least my eyes, one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. Backed by a new reimagined score and theme by legendary composer Hans Zimmer, this movie ultimately would kickstart this new DC universe. Later on that same year, San Diego Comic Con 2013 unveiled the logo to what would ultimately become Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. This of course set the fandom at large abuzz about who would take up the mantle of the Dark Knight for this universe. Many fans still held hope that Christian Bale would go back on his word and reprise his role as the Cape Crusader. However, in August 22, 2013, after many weeks of speculation, it was finally revealed who would take up the mantle as the newest Dark Knight. This, of course, is Ben Affleck. Anger and frustration about the casting would be seen on nearly every website and movie blog at the time. But then, in 2014, San Diego Comic Con once again blew all the minds in attendance and gave us the first look at BVS. This is where the roller coaster ride that is the DC Universe began. BVS released in March of 2016. The build up to the movie was one of heavy anticipation that turned into trepidation as the promotion leading up to the release seemed to be revealing a great deal about the movie's plot, along with the fact that the movie may be a little too ambitious for its own good. The goal of introducing us to all of the future Justice League members while also weaving together its own interpretation of the iconic Dark Knight and Death of Superman storyline was something many were very worried about going into the movie's release. BVS, for all of its successes, was once again another divisive movie for fans and critics, even more so than The Man of Steel. Many of the criticisms of the movie stemmed from what many believed to be an overstuffed plot, jarring editing choices, and an overly dour Superman, among other things. If you ask me, for all of its flaws, I still very much enjoyed BVS, and my anticipation for the Justice League movie was at an all-time high. Following BVS's release, the fan and critical backlash appeared to have shaken things up behind the scenes at WB. Justice League, a movie originally planned to be filmed as a two-part movie filmed back-to-back, -back, would now be condensed into one movie with Zack Snyder to direct. With Comic-Con approaching, WB made it a priority to shift the fans' perception of the universe. Whether you liked it or not, the majority of the movie-going audience felt that the DC Universe needed more fun and levity in its movies, and WB made sure to let the fans know that they are aware of this issue and that it will be addressed. Many members of the press were invited to the set of Justice League to help spread the word and get fans excited once more about the first Justice League movie. Comic-Con 2016 gave us our first look at Justice League with a trailer that would wow all in attendance and give us some reassurance that this universe was back on track. Combined with the Wonder Woman and Suicide Squad trailer that was also revealed that weekend, excitement for the DC Universe was once again at a fever pitch. Suicide Squad released in August of 2016 and while all the marketing for the film looked incredibly promising, studio meddling behind the scenes resulted in a movie that didn't live up to its potential. With all of the negative press regarding the DC Universe, Wonder Woman felt like DC's last straw for many fans. If this movie wasn't positively received by critics and fans, the feeling was that many would give up on the universe. In the time between Suicide Squad and Wonder Woman's release, the DC Universe was a daily hot topic amongst comic book movie fans and movie fans alike. Rumor after rumor would arise concerning how much of a mess Wonder Woman would be and how Justice League reshoots spelled catastrophe for the upcoming movie. And in May of 2017, when early critic reaction for Wonder Woman turned out to be positive and we as fans geared up for a great long-awaited summer blockbuster, tragedy struck as it was announced that our Justice League director, the man who kickstarted the DC Universe, would be stepping down due to an apparent suicide of his daughter. This struck at the hearts of comic book and movie fans alike and it was a beautiful thing to see critics and fans come together to offer their support for Zack in this terrible time. It was announced that Joss Whedon, the man who brought us our first Avengers movie and brought together all these characters would be taking over the Justice League reshoots and completing Zack's vision of the movie. On June 2nd, 2017, the release of Wonder Woman exceeded expectations for fans and critics, even to the point where WB is going to make an Oscar push for the movie. 
And while I don't think it deserves a Best Picture award by any means, I think that we can all agree that it was a win for the DC Universe and one that would help pave the way for a successful push for the Justice League. However, the roller coaster of this universe did not end there. While the success of Wonder Woman was a huge step in the right direction, story after story would release to stir up controversy for this universe. Danny Elfman replaces Junkie XL as composer, rumors of Ben Affleck leaving the role of Batman arise, then get shot down, then arise again, rumors about Justice League being entirely reshot arise, Henry Cavill and his mustache became an issue. All DC seemed to be doing is announcing a million other side projects at this time, and it appeared they had no idea what they were doing. But sprinkled amongst all the chaos was a silver lining of hope. San Diego Comic Con 2017 served to restore excitement to the fandom at large. With the release of what felt like an extended trailer with the panel and cast, we finally got answers to many of our burning questions and our best look yet at the scope of the Justice League. The hype train was on full steam, marketing in full gear. New York Comic Con last month gave us our final trailer in which the full tonal shift of this universe from Batman vs Superman could be felt. At this point, it's impossible to scroll down any one of your social media feeds without seeing some sort of promotional material for Justice League. Now we are here in the final days of the movie's release. Early social media reactions are in and things are looking up for the DCU. So let's all get hyped for the first ever live adaptation of the Justice League. I'll see you guys on the other side. Heroes Avenue signing out. If you like this video, please comment below of how excited you are for this Justice League movie. Give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed already, hit that sub button, and I'll catch you guys after the Justice League movie. Peace.